I was talking to a source tonight close to the campaign who said there's this idea being tossed around of running out the clock so that they could put forth a slate of electors or, or push states to put forth a state of electors that would support Trump in states where Biden won. As you know, laws vary on the subject from state to state. The Supreme Court said that it's OK for states um, to have laws that that require slates of electors to support the popular vote. But do you think that this is a realistic possibility? You know, unfortunately, we've seen that anything seems to be possible in terms of trying to um, assert a position. But realistically, you're talking about what would happen if people tried to put up competing slates of electors and have the House and Senate decide the presidency. What a contravention of what we've been accustomed to in our modern democracy here. The number, the date to work, watch here, Pam, is December 8th. That's what every state's going to be scrambling towards. Why? Because that's the safe harbor deadline. Essentially, if you're able to have the results known in your individual state, then essentially the winning party is able to have their electors who then present the votes for the Senate and the House to vote and count in January, excuse me. And so everyone's going towards there. This idea of trying to run past the clock and maybe had the Supreme Court weigh in the way they did in Bush v. Gore before that safe harbor deadline and removed the uh, decision from the um, House. This is something that would really be quite a novelty in American history. And I think that it would be unwelcome to those who appreciate the idea of the power of the people deciding the president mm -hmm. of the United States, not litigation strategy. Right, so you have December 8th, which is the safe harbor deadline, December 14th, mm -hmm. when the electors were supposed to get together and count, and then is it January 6th, I believe, uh, that Congress Correct. would then count the vote. So those are the important uh, dates we should keep an eye on as all of this unfolds. Laura Coates, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.